Yo everybody, it's uh, it's Thursday, Saturday is race day, Crusher in the Tusher. So pre preparation for the race is on, on Komoot. There's the finish, 3000 meters. There's the start at 1800 1, meters. Uh, the first part is tarmac, then we have a big gravel climb, as I see it. I saw some pictures of the finishing, uh, of the finishing uh, part and uh, I'm looking forward to race over there. fly in on Friday and Saturday race, so to fly in from Europe. I came because of the Tour de France, you know, I'm busy do, doing uh, a lot of stuff around the Tour, but I also want to fulfill to my obligations to start five races in the Lifetime Grand Prix, so put one and one together and I was be able to go away for three days. Like oh, the come in Salt Lake. Ik zie de bergen om ons heen. Ik heb nog geen zoutvlaktes gezien. Half vijf ben ik in, uh, in uh, Beaver, Utah. Dan kan ik snel mijn nummer halen, want om zes uur ging dat dicht of om zeven uur. En als het goed is kan ik dan mijn fiets ophalen bij uh, de mensen van het Specialized Offroad team. Die mijn fiets naar Unmount mee hadden genomen. Een nieuw kettingje heeft hij er zelfs opgelegd in meegelinken, zei hij. Moraal is goed, dat is het belangrijkste. Ik heb er vet van zin in, ik ben benieuwd wat ik allemaal tegengekomen. Dus uh, gas op die lobby. Just arrived at the Specialized. Off-road factory team house. Huh? That's right. It's Chris preparing the crux from uh, the crux yeah. from Russell. What did you do to my bike? Uh, it was brand new, no? Brand new. <laughs> yeah. Fresh chain. You know, you're ready to go. Fresh so, chain, time to race. So I left the bike in the US after inbound, so that I don't, I didn't have to fly with the bike. And uh, Chris took care of it. I'm really happy. <laughs> Want hij heeft ons een nieuw shirtje gegeven. Misschien nog eens van je witte witte erbij gaan rijden. Maar een nieuw shirtje, beter. De mensen hebben hier ook nog voor me gekookt. Heel simpel, pastaatje. Paprika met gehakt of zo. De rest is op. Gaat goed komen. We zijn nu ongeveer 24 uur wakker. Tijd om te slapen. It's like 5 a.m. I still owe you guys the nutrition strategy. Okay, what do I take on the race? A more than 100 caffeine in the start. Still shaking because I saw it was like clogging a little bit. All the other bottles will be filled with noon. I, I think I stopped twice, so it will be six bottles in total. I take the spare bottle, so maybe I only stop one time, then it will be five bottles in total. Rest will be filled with noon during the race. I got two hours of cliff boss blocks, half an hour of gels, an extra Morton drink mix for the final, which makes four hours in total, with the one hour before. On the right po pocket will be CO2 in my ra then, uh, razor plug inside this small pocket of LSRF, you see. Will be my car key, $100, and my credit card. That's how we race. I think I'm going to prove that when you leave Friday morning at 7 a.m. your house in Alkmaar, you can start the race 7 a.m. Saturday morning in Utah, Colorado. Wow. Let's see how the legs are. It's not like a mountain. Eh? This is just a small town in Utah. Over there, over there we're going, high mountains, stuff like that, and they say the course is beautiful. But look at this. Kind of mellow. The race starts uh, with a big climb. After 10, 15k, the climb starts. So the start was kind of mellow till the till then, and then uh, the race started to heat up. I noticed that I was not be able to 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 continue that pace for like another hour because that climb is one hour. So I started to do my own pace. I remember I got up there, I think, in the third group, but we were like oh, maybe. 30 seconds after the second group, it's 39. Yo, finish line. Got ninth at the end. Uh, first climb, three guys went. 
uh, at the end I think just Kevin Sweetser stayed in the front and managed to crawl myself back to the to the chase group and at the end I, uh, I managed to, to 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 get a nice place at the finish you know got over the finish was really tired it was like a mountain finish felt like the old Tour de France days again you know like sit at first I had to sit on a chair and I couldn't uh, high five the other competitors uh, straight away because the the effort on the last climb was like intense. But then, uh, yeah, then we high fived everybody. Uh, everybody had like a great time racing. I remember also during that race, I felt like, oh fuck, it's so nice to race again, you know, to pin that number and to 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 to, to focus to get the best out of yourself, which I managed to do pretty well. I, I was proud of my results, you know, considering the travel and the not adaptation and the no recon and blah, 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 whatever. All the disadvantages I put myself into because of traveling in the last moment. En hier zitten alle pro's nog even na te eten. Dit is dus wat ik bedoel. Zo'n die bus een keer in, uh, in een rondje moeten zetten rond uh, op de Champs-Élysées. Hoe een bal op naar elkaar, maar gewoon super gezellig, top. En dan ben ik met de bike met de bike terug naar Beaver, which is like 30k downhill, together with the guy from Specialized, who was bringing my bike to the head office in Salt Lake City that day. When I was down, I was just chilling at Specialized, drinking a beer. We lopen hier door het uh, zijstraatje van de Hoofdstraat, onderweg naar mijn auto. Trots, tevreden en tijd om een nappie te doen. Dus ik rijd straks naar het hotel, een nappie doen. Dan nog het uh, van de tour allemaal nalezen, een commootje uploaden, gewoon chillen. In mijn eentje wat eten, genoeg mensen gezien. En uh, een stukje doen daarna. Massel!